please give it up for Mr. Matt Watts, everyone. Give it up for Matt. What's up, Atlanta? Yeah. Atlanta's awesome. Way better than uh, Leonard Skinner's hometown where I'm from. Those guys suck. Most people don't know this about me, but I have actually opened for Jerry Seinfeld, which is cool. I wasn't on the bill, I was actually in the audience, and before he came out, I just stood up and yelled out a joke. A couple of people laughed, so that shit's on the resume. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Came up from Florida today, and you know, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but on the George, Welcome to Georgia sign, it says, Welcome to Georgia, home of the 1996 Olympics. Some old shit, man. It's a lot of good stuff going on in this state. Hanging on to some old insignificant shit like that. What if some people like were that way, you know? Like you walk up to a woman, you know? Hey, how's it going? I'm Matt Watts, home from the 1987 potato sack race champions <laughs> at field day. <laughs> I got a lot of other shit I could tell you about, but man, that shit's timeless. <laughs> On the way up here, it was fucking funny, man. They had a hundred dollar hotel rooms across the street, like six of them then a billboard directly across the street for a $29 motel room. So I pulled in there, I was like, man, that's kind of a deal. So I asked the, the, you know, like the, uh, the clerk guy behind the desk, I said, $29, man. Right across the street from $100 rooms, there's gotta be a catch. He said, if you stay here, there is a catch. You'll catch STDs, <laughs> HIV. I would not recommend it. <laughs> yep. You guys seen that movie, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? Good movie. They got a sequel coming out. It's called The Girl Who <laughs> Regretted Getting the Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> Apparently she was doing heroin all night, woke up in a single white trailer park somewhere, had a dragon tattooed on her ass. We'd all regret that move. Yeah. Recently just got a new dishwasher in my place. My old one died. His name is Jose. He's kicking ass. <laughs> Our thoughts are with you, Felu Felipe. Whatever. He was never too good at pronouncing his name, but he cleaned the tongs like nobody else. <laughs> the other day I had some animal crackers right next to some pita bread, and I ate the crackers, the animal crackers, and peed it into shit. I was like, aha, you guys are fucking liars. <laughs> People always try to tell me that like looks aren't everything. It's all about personality and what you got in common with people. See, I love heavy metal. I'm a big rocker, you know? But I'm not gonna date a one look, what? <laughs> Damn it, this is funny if I can get it out, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna date a, a, a midget agent with a wooden leg and Crohn's disease just cause she likes Pantera. <laughs> Fuck that. So two out of the three founding members of the Bee Gees have died now, so I guess that third one is staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> Not much longer, dude. You guys remember that 80s band, uh, The Flock of Seagulls? Yeah! Fuck yeah, man, they kick ass. I went to a reunion show the other day. They were, they were playing great, too. I was actually impressed for some asshole threw an alka on stage and the bass player exploded. <laughs> Couldn't believe it, man. So how pissed off are midgets with yo-yos? <laughs> it won't come back up. <laughs> okay. Usually people laugh at that one. That's the first time I got no laughs on the midget with a yo-yo joke. Damn. <laughs> I, think my, I think my dad hates me. He, my dad must hate me, seriously, because he always tells me to follow my dreams, you know? But that fucker knows I got night terrors. Reoccurring dreams of me being murdered. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. What I ever do to you? I went to college. Aren't you proud by now? It would suck if you were dyslexic and in a car accident. You might dial 119. The cops won't do shit. <laughs> Your friend is dead. And you can't figure out where... Uh, what happened to people? <laughs> Had to have my car serviced the other day. Mechanic had the car up on the lift, and he said, everything looks good, except you got a bald tire over here. You might want to replace it. I said, fuck that shit, man. I'll just spray it with Rogaine. <laughs> Six to eight weeks, I'll have some new tread. 
but keep it down. The other tires might get embarrassed. I'll just slap a wig on that shit for now. <laughs> Anybody in here looking for a job? Yep. Hell yeah, dude. I got a perfect plan. You ready for this? <laughs> the obituaries. Because they always tell you where that fucker worked. Just cut the article out, show up the next day. Hey, man, here you guys have an opening. <laughs> Sorry about your loss. I start Monday. <laughs> and there's no way you had time to fill it. That shit was abrupt. Don't make me go to HR, you asshole. <laughs> yeah. Clever homeless people have to think inside the box. Because that's where, you know, they, they premeditate better off than in there, you know. When I was a kid, my parents used to punish me in strange ways, you know? Like they caught me with like cigarettes, you know? They made me smoke the entire pack of cigarettes. So I'd be sick, you know, and never want to smoke again. They caught me with alcohol, you know? They made me drink the entire fifth of Jack, man. I'd just be puking for days, you know? Like, yeah, you'll never drink again, young man. So as I got older, I wised up and started leaving my weed out on purpose. <laughs> And I always planned that shit, man. Like, right when I knew they just stocked up from the grocery store, you know. <laughs> they'd come home late at night from work, you know, and they'd say, son, are these your blunts on the coffee table? Uh, yeah, dad, they are. Well, I got the lighter. You know what to do. My name's Matt Watts, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> guys, please keep it going for Matt Watts, everyone. Keep it going for Matt. Yes.